and we've been working on trying to figure out this puzzle since 2012. Dr. Bob Huter and the O-Search team have compiled a lot of data about great white sharks during their expeditions all around the world. But the North Carolina coast presented a gap in that information base. Very difficult time to work there, very challenging conditions. Uh, the weather was brutal. In late March of this year, the latest expedition took them to the waters off Moorhead City. Near Cape Lookout, they looked to answer the question of where along the East Coast great white sharks go to mate. We think that, that they may be actually mating in late winter, early spring off the Carolina coast. The weather only allowed them to fish for about half of the expedition days. We huddle around these sharks um, that have been caught for us and brought to the lift by our uh, expert fishing team. Here's video of them bringing in an 11 foot, 883 pound great white named Freya. And when the sharks are brought to the boat, the team gathers around them for about 15 to 20 minutes in what they describe as being similar to a NASCAR pit crew. Take measurements, take all kinds of uh, samples, blood, exams like ultrasound. There you go, there you go. There you go. They caught two great whites on this expedition, Freya and Charlotte, an eight foot, 338 pound juvenile. The problem is neither of them were of mating age, which is about 20 years old. Every single individual animal is like gold. But they served 23 different projects involving 42 scientists from nearly 30 institutions with every shark they catch, sample, and tag. Figuring out where they're mating is critical to protecting the species in, in those critical habitats. The movements of the big female sharks they track is what led them to North Carolina. They already know where they give birth, which is off Long Island near what's called the New York, New Jersey Bite. That's the area where the these big females give birth to a litter of about seven to 14 pups, each pup four to four and a half feet long, weighing about 40 pounds. So imagine how big mom has to be. In that young stage, they're more vulnerable to being caught in fishing gear. So with changes in fishery regulations there, the bycatch of the sharks has gone way down, meaning the population is starting to go back up. If they find a specific location and time frame when these sharks are mating, they could then talk to policymakers about some kind of closure or protection of that area. The fact that not many white sharks are caught during the period of time that we think they're mating and the place they're mating is, is probably already good news that, that uh, it won't affect too many fisheries. Back to Charlotte and Freya. Huter says they both moved a little south, spent a lot of time in the Carolina region, and now both have made their way up to Cape Cod. Neither one of those are full-grown adults. Um, they're still growing, and they both have done very similar things.